Hey guys, RW here on Little Mountain. I wanted to show you something that I don't think you've ever seen before. This is uh, an Escrima stick. It's a couple of inches shorter than your typical Escrima stick. It's only 24 inches long. It's not 26 or 27 as some people like. But uh, what's unique about this is that it's uh, three pieces of cell cast laminated together. It's incredibly strong and it's uh, been polished until it's optically clear pretty much. So as you can see that's pretty trippy looking. And uh, what I did is, is I polished the ends okay, but I left the edges very sharp so that when you're striking with it, it would really lacerate the hell out of somebody. And uh, I really don't think somebody would know what was going on if you came after them with something like this. Uh, because they really, it would be hard for them to focus on, uh, on it because you can see it's almost hypnotic when it's twirling like that because of all the prismatic stuff going on and the little bubbles inside and everything. It's just nuts. So, uh, pretty cool. And uh, I'm going to be sending these off to uh, a brother in arms out there, uh, Wampire. I'm going to put a link to his channel. And I'm going to make another one of these. I'm going to send him a pair of these because uh, he's a teacher and he, he teaches people to scream. Uh, and uh, this way he can put these through some real hard use. We can find out what they can handle. Uh, I think uh, these will destroy other sticks. That's what's going to happen. When other sticks hit these, they're going to... Uh, Unless they're extremely hard, they're just going to get little dents all over them and stuff. So this is some serious stuff here. Uh, as you can see, dead straight. Uh, real real happy with how the the uh, octagon came out. It's very regular. came out real nice. And uh, the lamination's real good. So this is a beast. And I'm telling you right now, when this hits some wood, it's going to leave a dent. I don't know if you can see that little dent right there, but that left a dent, and uh, it's not doing anything to this stick. So you can just imagine what this would do to somebody's head, or arm, or face, or whatever. So a wicked uh, Escrima stick, and uh, I haven't come up with a name for this stick yet, but I'm, I'm thinking towards the Ice Screamer. <laughs> for those that like to practice Ice Screamer. <laughs> I'm just fooling around. I don't know. But check that out, huh? Uh, it's a thing of beauty. And uh, very, very labor intensive. I spent about an hour sanding and polishing this. It doesn't take long to laminate. It doesn't take long to cut some strips and laminate them. It doesn't take that long to route them. But it takes a real long time to bring them back to optical clarity. So I just thought I'd put that out there, and uh, you guys should check out Wampire. He's got a real cool channel with a lot of interesting stuff on it. And uh, he's always uh, teaching you uh, new ways to use weapons, uh, especially uh, weapons in the Escrima line of martial arts. So hope you enjoyed this little video, guys. And uh, I'll be showing you more martial arts uh, weapons and training tools soon, because that's where I'm going with this. I'm going to make a full line of uh, combat hand-to-hand -hand type weapons here. So uh, come along for the ride. See where this goes. Maybe I'll become rich and famous. I'll be the next Cold Steel. Except I'm even colder than steel. I'm ice. Screamer.